bitch. Let me explain something to y'all. Good morning, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Good morning, good morning. Um, this just, this just, uh, Peter got a rocket launcher. Do not go to the back of that. So listen, I think Peter Moran would tap him to anybody right now. Maybe Angel too. I think he's my man with Tampa for dredging the stuff back up. But I don't know. I don't know. So, um, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. So, check this out. Let me tell y'all something. I'm finna give y'all a history of that. Don't let people fool y'all. Please do not let people fool you. Especially people as manipulative as Buck. Tim Buck, a.k.a. Marlon Horton, is the most manipulative person that I have ever met in my entire life. He will, and he talk about, don't let people play the victim that's not the fucking victim. No, Buck did not himself say anything in regards to my children. But, this is somebody, let me see how manipulative he is. And let me show you this. I'm gonna show, and I'm going to break this down to you from the lowest term. The lowest, I'm going to make it so simple that you got to understand it and you will understand what I'm talking about. Now, you have a right to make a decision about yourself and whether you, it's not no, it's, I'm not finna, I'm about to, this bird, this bird, he tried to make it like, oh, shit, are you so wrong for saying this about me last night? No, you did not say something about my children. So let me get, break this down to you. Um, My first introduction into their world was somebody as a bystander just looking and whatever, whatever. And be honest with you, Trelly invited me into the, their world in a sense. Trelly was one of the very first people to go live with me. Trelly was um, one of the more first people that let me interview them about something that was going on. Trelly was that person. I did not interview with Buck or nothing. I interviewed with I interviewed Trelly a long, long time ago when I first started doing interviews on people and getting people uh, getting the tea. It was, it was Trelly. That's that's just actual factual. You can. Uh, Say it again. When we started having our little tea time at three, we used to do tea at three. Trelly was one of the first guests as for us to come on and give. And we used to, and, and I asked her questions and she answered questions in regards to whatever was going on. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Of course, Buck stalking her was looked at what was going on. Now, during the course of events, one time I, myself, and Buster Baxter, we was out with Trelly. Uh, and we was at the bar. Trelly ran into Guala and they had a fight. I, at the time, had a, a smaller platform, but it was still one of the ones in the city as far as having things doing and going on and what was going on in the city. And so by me being right there, I took a video recording of the fight. A video recording of the fight. I had also posted it to... I posted parts to my page, and this is a, and this is like wait, this is a long time ago. This is no time recent. This is way before last year. This was, was this was in 2018. It's a long time ago, and so I posted the fight to my page. Um, this is when Instagram wasn't really important like that about fights and, and whatnot. They was just doing whatever, and so um, I posted the fight to my page. The fight, the fight might have stayed on my page, maybe, maybe a couple of hours. Before I received a phone call from Tim Wall Buck. Now, at the time, me and Buck relationship was not as far as a business relationship or anything like that. It was just whatever it was. Buck called me. Now, now see, understand this too. In New Orleans, in local New Orleans, in local New Orleans, I'm lost. What happened? How you don't know what happened? You don't know what happened, baby. Go look at the last from last night. And no recapping. This is <laughs> no sap. This is no recap. This is bitch. Figure it out. Get it how you get it. If you don't get it, like go out, go look at the lives, and then get come back in. I'm just telling y'all what happened. And I, and how can you not know what happened? I'm talking about something that happened two years ago. So this is what I'm saying. So Buck called me early in the morning. Asked me what happened. But this is what he asked me at the end of asking me what happened. He said, that's my baby mama. Do me a solid and take it down. And you know what I was like? All right. I fuck with Trelly enough. I ain't got no issue with you. I did you a solid and I took it down. That's what I did. 
through that and a few other things, um, Buck was getting me booked in shows and stuff like that. Which um, and so we had was developing a rapport. We did play together and this and that and whatnot. So we started to do things together as far as trying to get uh, motherfucking um, um, like he was instrumental in trying to get my video done, which I paid for. But uh, he was instrumental in trying to get about the first and only video I've ever done to a song I had made is whatever, whatever. Um. But listen, his self-serving on that is that he got the cameo in the video, which basically had nothing to do with him. But um, so it's like you not, it's not like you got and stuff for free. And when you book me, you still made a little fee or profit off of it too, as well. So it's not like don't say it like he just doing stuff. He's not doing nothing for me for free. He's not doing nothing for me where he's not benefiting as well. So don't think that that he just was like, oh, he got me booked, but he also got his fee. He got me booked here, but he also took his cut. He got me, yeah, he was going to do the, he did the video, but he also got a cameo. So he did the, but I'm not tripping that's business. The only thing that I asked for in the business was that as I'm, to, uh, as I'm attempting to grow my sippers and sip nations, don't play with them and don't play in our face. Be real and forthright with me. So he asked me at one point in time, like, what it is that I wanted. Now, Buck sit up there and told me, I said, so, all right. So he was like, well, let's try to do. We was coming up with a concept for the Bucket Shaking Show. I was like, okay, this makes sense. I actually um, asked him to invite Tutu along because at the time, um, definitely I agreed with her entertainment value. And so me, him, and Tutu, and DJ Platinum went and have a meeting um, at Harris Casino and we was going to do the Bucket Shaking Show featuring Tutu and Platinum. This is how it was going to roll. But so I'm like, okay, that's cool. We could do that. It made sense, especially at the time. To to have her brand and what she do, I have my brand and what I do. Platinum did his DJ thing and Buck had whatever he was doing. And so we was talking about different topics and stuff like that. We actually did one episode. So my only thing is that I don't want, he, I said, that, well, this is what I don't. Buck had told me, I said, well, why didn't I ask the questions when we start doing this? And I asked Buck. I'm like, well, why didn't the Buck and Peaches show work? And Buck told me that the Buck and Peaches show didn't work because Peaches did not have a work ethic. Peaches didn't know how to work. Peaches would take his cargo plug trade. You, you had to do the show at this time. Peaches wasn't there. This is what Buck was telling me about Peaches. Now, at the time, I had never, I don't even think I had met Peaches yet. Did I meet Peaches? Yeah, I met Peaches. I'm so sorry. I had met Peaches. But um, I got a chance to look at some of the old shows. And I really did not find, I was like, that's not what I do. I don't do the slapstick type of entertainment. My shit is more intellectual because I'm older. And, my, and I have what they call, uh, uh, I think my brand of entertaining can get, you know, it's not <laughs> as ratchet if you ask me. And so, Buck, I'm freezing. Y'all got it? So I was like, well, this is not something that, this is not the direction that I want to go. This is not the direction I want to go. I want to do more of an intellectual. I want to have a little roughness and a little rough around the edges type exterior. But at the same time, I want to be more intellectual. So Buck had me of the mindset that Peaches could not, like Peaches couldn't get out of his own way. This is what Buck had me thinking. I had never worked with Peaches. Buck, so the only person that could give me any insight on how peaches work was Buck. And so I'm developed in my mind, and I stood firm on that, that I don't want to work with peaches if this is the type of ethic that he has. All right. So I'm telling Buck, well, this is what I don't want to do. I don't want to work in, with peaches. But you got me thinking that. Buck has me thinking. Let's talk about the manipulation, the master manipulator, the, so, since he's so not manipulative. You got me thinking the dude don't work. The dude ain't trying to. I'm trying to work. I didn't come home from prison to play. I came home from prison to work. Even when I'm on here joking and joking with y'all, I'm working. I believe in me. I believe in my sip nation. I believe in the sippers. I believe in that. That's not something that I'm thinking. This is, this is something the sippers have showed me time and time again. That's what the sippers do. If Let me show you how this is the difference. You do a promo special. Buck did a promo special. People might look at it and be like, okay, whatever. I do a promo special. My sip was going to fuck with them promo people that people promo with us because just because it was on my page. That's a difference. So I got to believe in them because they believe in me. So I so I don't owe Buck nothing. I don't owe nothing. So what I'm going to do is protect that. 
I'm going to protect that. And so at the end of the day, so what I'm telling Buck is, shaking and the sippers can't get down with people that don't want work. People that don't have a work ethic. People that don't believe in themselves. People that's not trying to get to the next level. Shaking the sippers is not fucking with that. We not fucking with that. So at the end of the day, I don't want to work with peaches at the time. Is this what I say? It's just not gonna happen. He don't have the work ethic. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna do what it is. So Buck knowing this, Buck got into it with <laughs> the the first shame. Not my shame. The first shame. <laughs> Buck got into it with my first shame. With the not my first shame. The first shame. <laughs> Buck got into it with shame. And so Buck tells me. I'm telling Buck, leave Shane alone. He rings up everybody. Leave him alone. He go ring you up. I told this to Buck. Buck called me one time. I was like, I think Shane took it. I think Shane this person. Blase, blase. I'm like, listen. Let it go. Let it go. We don't want Shane. Let, let, let Shane be who he is. Leave Shane alone. Buck constantly antagonizing Shane. So where Shane, so he even go put, who is Shane on a t-shirt? Why don't you leave this punk alone? I'm telling you, you need to leave Shane alone because he's going to ring you up a bill. And so it's his thing. The day Buck put Shane on the t-shirt, Shane came on alive with me and rung Buck up for Phil. For That's what he did. It is what it is. I told Buck this was going to happen. I'm like, leave it alone. Shane, just let Shane, let's lick, entertain. He done rung me up. He done rung you up. He done rung nut up. He done rung everybody up. He rung everybody up. Every, it was some point in time. The only person that ever was spared for Shane was Vine. I have never. <laughs> I never. I never. I never, 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 never paid attention to it. So I'm like, what's going on, Nasty Vision? So, with that being said, here's Buck manipulation again. Oh, you should have ended Shane. Shane was talking about me. No, Buck. You should have not <laughs> put the hood on the shirt. You should have listened to what. I said at the time we were business partners. You should have listened to what I said and stay out of that. Stay out of Shane. Stay out of Shane. Shane didn't have you on his radar. You put yourself on Shane's radar. And yet you suffered the consequences. So to punish me, this is what Buck did. Buck, I guess he felt I was subservient to him. Because to punish me, you know what Buck did? He went live with Peaches for the Buck and Peaches show. Which is in a direct contradiction to the show and everything we was trying to bring. So to punish me, this is what Buck did. Buck said, oh, we're doing a shaky, we're doing a bucket pizza show with DJ Platinum at this time o'clock. He even went so far as to invite Tutu to it. And Tutu was like, no, I'm not going. Fuck, I fuck with Shaky. Shout out to Tutu. She did that. She, she invited Tutu to go. I was at work at the time when I, I learned about this. Um, so to punish me, that's what Buck did. <laughs> so Buck in his mind wanted to punish me for doing for allowing Shane to go off on him even though I told him like I, if nobody could control Shane Shane did the dumbest shit ever a lot of times nobody could control Shane but I knew what was I knew what was coming when you put his neck put him on the shirt I knew that was coming you knew that was coming because I told you you constantly picking with Shane and, and this is what it is trying to figure out who he is and all this stuff like that um so to punish me for that We talk daily on the phone. Does Shane got more sense than these punks? He got more sense than all of them except me. <laughs> so, this is what happened. So, to punish me for that, he did what he did. And I said, I cannot fuck with you no more. You have no loyalty. You have no class. You have no dignity about yourself. You are just, um, um, your, your, your snake skin just showed. And it started me and him beefing on social media. Um, I didn't talk to Buck. For months. For months. Then one day, um, he sees me at an event. And um, we were booked together, though. He tried to take money out of my pocket, tried to call my job. Did the most. He did the most punk-ass shit that you could say to somebody. And, bitch, you know what? I still tried to give him the benefit of the doubt because I did some stuff, too. I'm not going to even sit here in front. I did my little stuff, too. Whatever, whatever. Um took his songs off the iTunes and shit. I'm not going to say it wasn't. (laughs) 
It wasn't just one sided, it was two sided. I would say that, I'll be honest. Um, so then Buck, then what he did, one day, this is how we started communicating again, is he came to me and I was mad with Trelly. And he said, Listen, I got some tea about Trelly. I'm like, Oh shit. But at, the, at that time, it was like, This, you speaking my language, bitch. So it was months past. I had got over him. I wasn't even talking about the whole thing yet. It wasn't, we weren't talking about each other for months. We didn't talk to each other for months. He came and he gave me some tea about Trelly. And I didn't like Trelly at the time. And that's how we started communicating again. Uh, we ended up, and so this is cool. Now keep in mind, we have done business together since this time. And so as a solid, initially my introduction to you was doing you a solid and taking what you asked me to take off my page. Now this is something, now keep in mind, keep in mind, at the time, I was not, I was not, I was not, the, the platform wasn't as big as it is right now. The platform was decent, but not big as it was right now. And so, so the news, the, I have exclusive video of Trelle and Guala fighting, who was two at the time, especially big names in the, in the city as far as like T. And so nobody else had the video because I was the only one out there. And so I got the video and you hear me? This could change, like this could step my game up a little bit as far as exclusive scoops. And I took it down. I hindered my own career for a solid for you. And so this is what I'm saying. When he first, when, so this is what's happened. So here come this uncouth punk. This uncouth punk, uncouth means stupid. <laughs> Name, the, the punk that we talk about now. Um, this punk hits the scene and makes s s people start sending me their lives. I'm like, who is this person? I never met this person in my life. And this person talk about, oh, I don't like Shaky because he went to jail and said he got raped. I'm like, okay, let me just block him and call it a day. Um, then I, um, then on my backup page, they send me the backup page. He start going in and talking about my, ch my child, my autistic son, and this and that. Now, this person does not know me, but this person have degraded my autistic son. And I said what I said about him, and that's what it is. And there's nothing else I'm going to say about him other than I don't fuck with people who fuck with people's children. It doesn't matter, and it is what it is. That's what I do. When Buck and Fred was beefing, or uh, as Buck and Fred beefing, and they got the children involved, I inboxed both of them and said, that's not cool. Take that shit down. I actually unfollowed both of them at one point because I didn't like it. When somebody tried to talk about his children, I shut that shit down. Don't play with my, don't play, don't, don't, play with, don't play with kids. I would do that for, and I'm not saying, I would do that for anybody. I, I, I would tell you, I would tell, I done told, I got into it with Shane. I would get into it with anybody over your children, my children, they children, anybody children. I would defend Buck children. I would defend I would go in on somebody that played with Super Saiyan children. She want me dead. I would go in on somebody that played with that girl child. I would go in on them. I would block them. I would never. If somebody played with her children, I would go in on them right now. I, if nobody had a child, I would go in on somebody that played with nobody children. I don't like it. I stay firm on it. My platform was built on it. I would block somebody. Right now, I would not talk to them. I would go in on them. I would talk about them. Stop playing with people, kid. I don't like it. That's one thing I stand firm on. I will defend Buck children. I will defend your children. You. I will defend your children. As much as I could. I don't like it. I will defend your children. My worst enemies. I will defend their children. I will defend them right now. I wouldn't give a damn. My most hated enemies. I will defend their children. I will defend them. Yeah, I can play with I play with the parents, but not the kids. <laughs> I just it's just what I do. Hey, it is. The children, the, the parents are dumb. So listen. Alright. So this person whose only claim to fame or only issue with me, he don't like me because I went to jail and got raped. That's why he don't like me. Has decided after I blocked them to say horrific and horrible things 
about my autistic son. Whatever's going to happen to him, going to happen to him whenever he's happened to. I don't know. I hit Buck up when Buck went live with the person and told him, this person playing my kids, real rap, don't go live with him no more. Like, that person is like, whatever. That person has beef with everybody in New Orleans for nothing. Like, he, I have literally saw this man start shit with Nut, start shit with Dean, start shit with Keith Carroll. Start, people you don't know because you're trying to get entertainment value. See, as far as you grow, people will start beefing with you because you got, like, even with the case of Stetson. Stetson don't like me right now because I have followers. Oh, he hit this number. I'm trying to get my followers up. Don't have no issue with me personally. Don't have no issue, but have but go on Instagram and rant and rave about me because whatever. So I just like I ignore that fuckery. That's cool. I don't care. But what I do care about is children. I love them and I don't like stuff people's talking about them and stuff like that. I don't like it. Now I'm a champion for that and I'm gonna always be a champion for that. And I don't care if it's right or wrong or however people feel about it. But y'all can say what you want about me. I don't care. You can do what you want. I don't care. But when it comes to that, I'm going to stand on that, and I don't like it. I don't like people talking about it. I don't, I don't block people. They have followed me for a long time because I don't like it. Okay, so, with that being said, we get to the next part of this. I hit Buck up, and I said, look, bro, this person, this person, whatever they're doing, look, they playing with my kids. I don't know who he is to find him or do whatever I need to do to him, this, that, and the other, or have done to him. Or I don't know. So, look, this person playing my kids, and it's not, it's not cool or whatever. So I'm telling him, you know, don't go live with this person, whatever, whatever, real rap. And he, he, he gave me an understanding of this. He gave me an understanding of this, an understanding like he understood this. So, yesterday, when he posted to do it again, man would keep care for whatever reason. And in the video, there's something said about me. Now, of course, in that video, nothing was said about me true nothing was said about my kids in that video but this same person that you're trying to that you're promoting is still the same person who talking about my kids now i'm asking you for a solid like you asked me initially don't let him manipulate you son don't let him fool y'all into thinking he's the oh i'll do the right thing we're in social media this is what it is no but yes i'm a whole blogger and because of you because of you because of you and you asking me for a silent long ago, not even about your kids, but about your baby mama, I took something down that could have been a turning point in my career. The next thing you did, the next, uh-uh, good day. No, I want you to hear it. I'm about to block you. I want you to hear it. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. So the, my, the, the, the initial thing that you asked me to do as a silent was say, hey, hey. I'm like, I'm on the phone. Let me see. No, I'm not on the phone. How? How, 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 Baba? How? How am I? When you block somebody, hold on. Or oh, maybe I don't. I mean, I'm blocking to see. Hold on. So this is me. The post is not available. But I'm like, Buck, take this down, please. Or at least edit our parts out about me. How? I, I, I'm, I'm asking you, please, take this down. Please. I'm asking you, please, take this down. This person is somebody who is a person that plays to my children. No, he didn't go live again. So I'm like, please, take this down. As a solid for me. As somebody who's done you a solid before. As somebody who wouldn't let, I wouldn't, adri- I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Go for nobody playing with your kids. I love your kids. I don't I don't know. I love them. I wouldn't let nobody play with your kids and I wouldn't support nobody or be in cahoots with nobody that's playing with your kids. I wouldn't even bring them attention. What they looking for. Or at least you didn't. You you did go live with him initially. That's how I learned about it. Buck if you did, son. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go, bud. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, I'm gonna, did I text it to you? I don't remember. I'm lying, but I got the receipt. Come on, but don't do that. 
Ja tror det är inte på det här stället. Mm. Det är typ att jag är When did that happen that you first went live with? Oh, all right, here it is. You did go to him. I said, please do not ever add that cloud chaser punk to a hood to your live again, real rap. Right. Nothing was going to that I don't want to say because it's personal. But you, 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 yeah, I did. You, you, yeah, I did. But I did contact you about this person. And you didn't add him again. But initially, you did talk. You did go live for him. Bye. Oh, no. Good, good day. Good day. Get out of here, you. You don't see. Oh, yeah. It got your block, sister. Um, <laughs> It got your block, sister. <laughs> it got your block. Um, So you don't see what, what he did wrong. I, when Buck was on live with the dude, I hit Buck and I asked him not not do that because this is what this person did. Yeah, I, I blew him. <laughs> so I asked Buck, take this though. Don't 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 do this. You is wrong. This punk is wrong. This punk is what he's doing. This punk is talking about my kids. This punk is doing the most. Stop going live with him on on, on the strength of me. You don't have no issue with me no more. We can make money together. This and that and the other. I would, and, and, and so this time when he posted the punk and at the end of the video it have something about me I'm like listen please Buck take this down take this down please take this down I'm asking you take this down please take this down I, I just, or at least edit the parts about me I don't want you bringing attention to somebody who's playing with my kids especially when I would defend yours and especially when Initially, my introduction to you was doing you a solid by taking something down that you asked me to take down. So yes, I got mad. Yeah, I need traffic. It's my. I just got a tub. I didn't. I just, I'm going to work. <laughs> I have. Oh. <laughs> so I just didn't. I didn't even put on lotion. Ain't no side. He said his side. He said I was wrong for telling him to take it down because we in the social media. How, what else, what else, hold on, hold on, hold on. Add him so he could say that he, listen, I heard everything I need to hear about or uh, from Buck last night. When I said, please take this down. Please take this down. When I go on his live and I said, please take this down. He said, I can't do that because we on social media and it's okay because we on social media. That's his side. What the fuck side do I need to hear? Whatever, whatever side do I need to hear other than I'm not taking it down because we on social media. I ask you, please, take this down. Do me a solid, the same solid I give you. And he said, no, I can't take it down because we on social media. What other side do you need? What side do you need to hear from him? Buster or anybody? Buster, I would Buster, at the end of the day, your daughter is my daughter. I would never propagate somebody playing with them. At the end of the day, whoever wants to hit his side, that your child is my child. I own your child like you do. So what other side do you need to hear? He said, no, I can't do it because we're on social media. So when you call me, I try to can't say, no, I can't do it I'm on social media. No, I went down. It went down. It went down. When somebody came on here playing, trying to play with his kids, when the shit going on, it went down. When him and Fred was telling each other, I text both of them, y'all wrong. Take that shit down. Take that shit down. When him and Fred do that, I wrote them both and unfollowed them. Take that shit down. I didn't start following them until I didn't fall back there, but shit was down. Take that shit down. So what other side do I need? Because when I'm asking you, please, Buck, Take that down, or at the least, at the least you could do 
the video didn't say nothing about kids, but the punk in the video talked about my kids. Don't bring attention or put me in no association with that punk whatsoever. And the, this is what I'm asking you. I'm saying please take it down or at the least, at the least, take the parts about me out of it. I don't want you to give you and somebody I talk to, to uh, somebody I deal with and do business with, to be promoting somebody who is obviously has uh, animosity to me because this is what the person said. I don't like shaking. He said this all your life. I don't like shaking because when he went to jail, he got raped. And in the next, in the next context, when I block him and don't pay attention to him, fuck you and your autistic child. That's why your child, that's why your child retarded and all this other stuff like that. I let Trace, Trace is a culture boutique sister. Trace is of a culture boutique. When go, I swear to God, go look. I don't know if it's up. It's not up there anymore. But when Fred posted that, I commented on the post. Take this down, son. This is wrong. I have DM Fred. Take that down. Leave the kids out of it. He have done that. And I unfollow Fred. The same thing I did to Buck. What is y'all talking about? When Fred and Buck did that, I sent I see them both messages. and said, that shit is wrong. I, you was tripping. I commented under the post. I DM'd them and I unfollowed them on live. Both of them. I did that both to both of them. So what did you talk about? Eventually they took it down and they went on to talk about each other and the songs and shit. And guess what? So then I, 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 I followed them again. But I did that to both of them. Both of them. I don't have a problem with Fred and Buck going harder than each other. I don't have a problem with that. That's cool. I have a problem when they playing with kids. That's what the problem is. So nobody could question that. Now he on live talking about, oh, she can manipulate people. Buck, you are the master manipulator, sir. The master manipulator. The whole story I just outlined is you in a nutshell. This is habitually you. And so when you say that you ain't going to take it down because we on social media, you let me know everything I needed to know about you. And you, you let everybody else know what they needed to know about you. That there's not one moral or ethical bone in your body. It's for all my folks. I am a messy punk. I am petty. I will drag people. I'll tell you, I whatever. I'm clout chasing everything. With all that you could bad say, the one moral thing people can say about me is I stand on one thing, and and that's for the kids. I stand for them. I stand for them. My kids, your kids, everybody. So I at least have. They can say all the, all the bad stuff you got about me. You're right. I'm this, I'm that, I'm dirty, I'm bum bum, I ain't got nothing, I'm fat and ugly. I'm from Mexico, New York, or where the fuck y'all want me to be from tomorrow. I'm from this place and that place. I'm a this, y'all, I'm a prison sex slave. I'm, uh, I'm messy. Whatever y'all want to say about me, y'all can say all that. But you can say this too. Make sure you say this. When that, whenever all this is over, say that bitch took one thing. That bitch took one thing. That bitch stood on one thing. That big messy black punk from from Arizona who uh that's dirty bum ain't got nothing homeless, ugly, cheesy, shaky cheese, and all that. All you could say one thing. You could say one thing. That bitch stood on something. That bitch stood ten toes on one thing and one thing. That bitch stood for the kids. So at the end of the day, Buck, you showed me everything I needed to see. Everything, everything, everything that I needed to see. And and listen, you're right. 
people have been telling me about book. Crucial, bust. Everybody been telling me about book. Everybody been telling me about book. Let me tell y'all something. I write, and let me tell you how I'm write. Let me tell you something. How I'm right. Um, I'm sorry. I just gotta tell y'all the truth. Um, uh, y'all know Kino ain't about the mess. Y'all know Kino ain't about the mess. Kino ain't about the Kino. My son Kino, he not about no mess. He not about no drama. He stay out of it. He do his little rap thing every night and then he might rant about something. But he really in his own little world, on his lane. He don't have nothing to do with nothing. Super Saiyan block Kino. Super Saiyan blocked him. Blocked the piss out of him because of me. You know who else? Tutu. Tutu like Super. Tutu is a, a, is a definitely a fan of Super. Tutu GP. Tutu is, is a definite fan of Super. Tutu have posted that Super is a real one and, and this is stuff real one. But guess what Super said there? Super said block the piss out of Tutu. Block the piss, block the piss out of him. Block the shit out of him. Block the, I mean, block the so fast, block the shit out of him. Tutu ain't never did this girl nothing. But Super said block the piss out of him. Block the sh- block- oh, Super Saiyan blocked up. BJ, Dean, who else? I'm, su- the art- <laughs> I'm surprised she ain't Black Buster yet, but he's coming. Uh, you know why? She blocked Vicky Lowe too. Blocked the piss out of her. Blocked her, blocked her. <laughs> By <a> simply Lola. <laughs> blocked her. Blocked her fucking ass. Block the shit out of no warning. Block the uh, block the block city. Block. <laughs> I mean, block the shit. Block the piss out. Block Yana. Block 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 block. Bitch, everybody in here getting blocked by her. I'm just letting y'all know. You ain't here. Oh well, she got her. They own it. <laughs> They're going to. You gonna get blocked. I'm just. <laughs> No heads up, no like, man, what's going on? Block. So this is what I'm telling Buck, dude. You ain't got to be no enemy this pump, but just don't put me in it. Just don't put me in it. Don't put me in that with that pump. Please. I'm letting you know, please. So guess what? B- buck your block. Hood your partner, your block. Everybody that follow him, I blocked them. I block. I block 200 people. Block 200 people. Anybody that fuck with that pump, I block them. I don't give a fuck. Block the piss out. So that's what. I'm, so that's what. I'm. I'm taking a super. You taught me something. You taught me something, sister. Shout out to you today. <laughs> I'm. I block everybody that follow him. I gotta go do it again because it, apparently some more people follow him. But pro- promise, if you follow that bitch, you're getting blocked by me. Good day. I'ma talk to y'all later.